Getting started with Salesforce Chatter is really quite simple. Of course, it's enabled for every single member of your team. You can also have free licenses for people who are not licensed with Salesforce. But when you get started, very first step, go right into that Chatter tab at the top here. And there's a series of uh, next steps that you can take on the right hand side here. A quick video to tell you about you know, how to set it up. Then go in, complete your profile. Select people to follow. Create groups. Of course, then you can get Chatter Desktop. And of course, mobile for your Blackberry, Android, iPhone, iPad, whatever the device may be. Uploading a picture, of course, very simple. I can go into my name, go in my profile, simply hit update photo, and I can grab any image from my desktop. I can change my contact information, change information about me so people can learn about you know, what are my various uh, strengths in the organization. On the far right, I can see the followers. So people that I want to follow. Well, how is it going to recommend how I follow people? Well, do that by uh, tracking other things that I might be looking at, uh, perhaps opportunities that are similar between people. Now, of course, in this particular instance, I'm the only user set up here. I don't have anybody that I can follow. However, Salesforce can make some recommendations based on other people that are in your social group. So once I've set up my profile, I've created my contact information, I can go ahead and start to follow either you know, any standard object like leads, accounts, contacts, opportunities, or of course any custom objects as well. From an administrative perspective, I can go into the setup area and just under customize down at the bottom, you can see that I have my chatter area. And this is where I can determine either the chatter settings, so being able to track things like uh, do I want to be notified on, uh, e uh, or on postings via email? When people comment, do I want to be notified? Do I want to be able to uh, open up invitations to other people who may not be using Chatter? And of course, being able to set the feed tracking as well. So determining the objects that I would like to track. So I can see currently here on the account, I'm tracking two fields. I can go in and add up to uh, 19 different fields. I believe it's 20 on an object that I can track. So I can go in and say, all right, if the industry or rating are updated. On assets, I can see I'm currently not tracking. So I can go into my assets and enable the feed tracking for that particular object. Once I've enabled that, I can go in and of course track the various different fields that I would like to see in Chatter. Once I save that information, it's now enabled across the board for tracking assets for all users. Now, once you've set that up, you can, of course, restore back to your default setting. The idea is Chatter is supposed to be designed for you to take the best advantage of what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not intended to be another email. It's not intended to create confusion. Really, the idea is to set up your day, track the things that you need to see, and when you go back to your home page, being able to determine exactly what's happened in your day and see from any point exactly what's happened. Out of the box, Chatter is a very simple application. As it does span the entire platform, you're going to be able to include it everywhere. And in doing so, I can actually jump into the App Exchange and start to look at some other applications that have been built either by Salesforce Labs or by partners. So I can go into the search area and just have a look for Chatter Apps and do a quick search. And I'll be able to see all of the different Chatter Apps that have been developed. Now, whether these, uh, these chatter apps are things that are, uh, you know, designed to auto-follow or perhaps um, set things up to, to track influence or maybe even blacklisting, really, you can find any kind of application to run within Salesforce to track that sort of information. So if I go into uh, to viewing all of these different uh, uh, chatter apps, I'll be able to see of course, whether they're free or not, 
but being able to track usage, things like Cloud Swarm, being able to put together a combo pack of nine different types of chatter apps, or being able to see news alerts and linking into Google Alerts. Really, the world is wide open when it comes to integrating with chatter.